All right, so let's look at the science behind liquid penetrant testing. Okay, consider a test object which has a crack that's open to the top surface. Now in this animation, you the crack is a lot more exaggerated, but in reality, it's not visible to naked eye. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, your first step is going to be pre-cleaning. So you got to clean the top surface, use a lint-free cloth, spray some cleaner on top of it, and wipe it dry. Once you're done with pre-cleaning, your next step is to spray some penetrant on top of the surface. So you're spraying the penetrant. Pss, 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 pss. Make sure you cover the entire surface of examination evenly and that you don't underspray or overspray the penetrant. Once you spray the penetrant, you let it sit on for a few minutes, five to 10 minutes. This is called the dual time. Now during this dual time, the penetrant starts seeping inside the crack. Okay, this is due to the capillary action. The penetrant fills up the void of the crack. And once the dwell time is over, you wipe the excess penetrant off using a dry wet dry method. So dry means you first wipe off the entire top surface using a dry lint free cloth. Then there's still some penetrant or background excess penetrant stuck on the surface. So this is when you spray cleaner on the lint free cloth, not on the top surface of the test, test block, but on the lint free cloth and then use that wet cloth to wipe off the surface. Okay, making sure that you don't rub it too harshly that it pulls out the penetrant that's trapped inside the crack. And then your third step is again to just make sure all the top surface is dry before you spray the developer. Once that's done, your next step is to spray the developer. Pss, 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 pss. Make sure you cover the entire top surface evenly. Don't spray too much developer, otherwise it's gonna mask the discontinuities. Okay, just making sure it's evenly spread. Then all you have to do is wait for some time, which is again specified in your procedure. This is called the development time. Now during the development time, the penetrant that is trapped inside this crack, it starts to come out due to oozing effect. Okay, so the penetrant or the, or the developer starts sucking the penetrant that's trapped inside the crack out, making it visible to the top surface. Okay, it's just like a blotting action. And that's how you are able to see an indication, even though it's not visible to naked eye. That's it.